the PowerTac HL10 Explorer. Now this is not just another headlamp, guys. This is a PowerTac headlamp. So that means, well, 18650 high discharge lithium cell, magnetically rechargeable. It's got white focus light, that's 2500 lumens. That's not it. It's also bomb proof and you notice it has the two reflectors here. It's because you got 2500 lumens or lower settings of white focus light, strobe, SOS, but that's not all. You also have white diffused light, red LED diffused light, and more importantly for you guys running night vision, haven't forgot about you. Now you guys can have a headlamp that's capable of filling the whole room with light or filling it with IR illumination. So let's walk you through the box on the HL10 Explorer and show you some of its features. It is a J-hook buckle mounting system for universal usage. It is a two switch system, diffused flood and focused light, a low battery indicator. You have three diffused flood and color modes. You have your white, you have your red, and you have your IR illumination. You also have it two meter FL1 drop standard, your one meter water submersible standard, you have your different outputs as far as hours and days, your FL1 standards for candela for mode one and two, your FL1 standard for meters for throw for 2500 meters, on your focus light you have 204 meters, and for your mode two 150 lumens you have 23 meters. So one of the things that we do very well here at PowerTech is we give you a lot of different outputs, how long it's going to provide that output for, and what settings those outputs apply to. So you get a lot of detailed information here on the back of your packaging. You're going to see information like what type of LED is used for your white LED, what type of LED is used for your red LED. You're going to get your battery information, such as your 18650 3200 milliamp high drain batteries, the size and dimensions and weight, you're going to get your IPX7 rating indicated here. We're going to show you our J-hook buckle system. So this is basically for the GoPro users, anybody that has accessories like that. You're going to also see what's included in the packaging. Your headlight, your head strap with J-hook, your J-hook buckle locking screw, your magnetic USB charging cable, your 18650 rechargeable high drain battery, spare O-rings, and your instruction manual. You're also going to see some of the indications for what these LEDs mean. A low or low voltage indicator is going to show red, which means your battery charging is not full while the magnetic charger is attached. And a blue is going to indicate that your battery charging is full. Now let's open the PowerTac HL10 Explorer. We're going to open our packaging here, and as soon as you do so, I'm going to remove our head mounting system with our J-hook. We're going to remove our PowerTac manual and we're going to see our HL10. Now the first thing that you're going to feel is that this is a very, very rigid, solid product. It's a very, very tough light. Now, the first thing that you want to do is this was designed to work with a coin, so you can put a coin in that slot to open it. I'm going to show you a couple cool tricks. If you have a 12 gauge shell, you can open it. If you have a 45 ACP or similar cartridge like this, you can open it. Heck, I've even gone so far as to test it with a USB cable. Why am I showing you this? Because this is something that you might actually need. This is part of why the design on this is as wide as it is, so that you can actually figure out how to use this properly. We want you to be able to use this light when you need it. So let's go ahead and open it up. You'll see as soon as you do so, you have this lithium cell protector. Discard that. Then go ahead and, the same way I preach, reverse thread it, tighten it down. Now you don't have to kill this. You want to make sure it's nice and snug. For the purposes of this video, we'll show you the coin, which is, seems to be the industry standard, and you tighten it down. Once you remove your magnetic charging cable from the packaging, you can go ahead and put that onto the magnetic charging port located here on the side of your PowerTac HL10 Explorer. This is obviously a USB plug. You would plug that into your USB and go ahead and attach that magnetic charging cable. Now, you'll notice that as per the packaging, if we flip that back over and you can see here, you'll see on the back side here, if you're looking at it this way, you're going to see a red LED indicator when the charging is indicating that it is not full or there is low voltage. On this side as well, you'll see a blue indicator 
letting you know that it is charging, but it is fully charged. Go ahead and discard your charging cable. To go ahead and install your HL10 on your headlamp, you will go ahead and slide it into that groove right there. You will then open up your PowerTech packaging. You will take your J-hook out, put it into that side of your locking assembly, and you might have to just move it around for a moment to go ahead and do so. Once you do that, you can adjust it as per your settings that you like, and then go ahead and tighten it down. But this is a very, very common, very popular setup. There are a lot of companies that make a lot of great J-hook options. Some that make them for Picatinny rails, for chess rigs, for helmet mounts. There's all kinds of different settings that you can use with this J-hook system. But let's go ahead and walk you through the actual function of this HL10 Explorer. So to begin operating your PowerTac HL10 Explorer, go ahead and pick up the envelope included with your packaging. You're going to find inside of it your product registration card. You're going to find your PowerTac user manual for the HL10 Explorer. You're also going to find the always popular PowerTac decals. Lastly but not least, you'll find your information for your 18650 rechargeable cell. And you'll also find another O-ring to use as a spare for your battery. Go ahead and put your PowerTac user manual envelope to the side and inside you will open up your actual user manual which has several different pages containing several different spots of information. I'm going to walk you through some of that right now. If you'll notice here for your low battery indicator and your charging indicator, button one is basically your information center. That's the LED that's going to tell you what's going on. So for the purposes of this light, this reflector here, the non-diffuse reflector, this reflector, or the one on the left if you're looking at the back of the light is going to be button one. Now, that button, when it is low, as indicated here, low battery indicator, button one will turn red. When it is critically low, button one will blink red. Now, when you're using your magnetic charger and you're charging on button one will be red. When your charging is complete on button one, it will turn from red to blue. As we've noted in this video, it informs you of how to change the battery. It tells you your maintenance intervals. It tells you your features and specifications. It also tells you your usage instructions, your mode one, your mode two. It'll tell you your outputs, and it will go ahead and show you the documentation on what is button one, what is button two, where your magnetic charging slot is, your battery tube, and all the information possible. I'm going to walk you through some of the features and specifications of the HL10 Explorer now. So the PowerTac Explorer HL10 uses a Cree XHP50 LED to produce its 2500 lumens. In addition, it has a 200 plus meter throw to illuminate both long and short distances. It has a simple user interface for tactical and self-defense, integrated side switch for quick access to functions, unique digital circuitry to maximize battery life and give consistent light output. It also has reverse polarity protection, protects from improper battery installation. You have six different settings that include five levels of brightness plus a strobe, auto memorization for all settings. It is machined from aircraft grade aluminum and has type three anodized finish. Your double coated glass lens to give a maximum out the front or OTF brightness and beam distance. It is made with tempered glass to resist breaking and scratch upon impact. Lastly, it is waterproof rated or IPX7 standard, which means it is submersible up to one meter of water. So the way that works is this light is not going to fail you in the rain, in the snow, in the sleet, unless you physically submerse it over one meter in water for a long duration of time. Now, obviously, common sense can be your guide. You want to take care of your equipment, guys, whether it's a firearm, whether it's a flashlight. So anything like this, in the event that you do submerse it in water, might be good practice. Take the battery out. Make sure there's not a lot of moisture getting past the O-ring. Things of that nature. But for purposes intended, the PowerTac HL10 Explorer is waterproof up to one meter. So let's go ahead and walk you through the operation of the HL10 Explorer. As we've mentioned, your button on the left, if you're looking at the rear of the HL10, is button one. So if you look at your owner's manual, 
you'll see that mode one or focus light, again, that reflector on the left hand side, is button one to activate that light. To change the light levels, you will click button two, consecutive presses, which will cycle the light levels. To turn the focus light off, click button one at any time. The HL10 will remember your focus light setting and will turn back onto that setting. Your strobe function is a fast double click of button one. Lastly, a long click or hold of button one will turn on SOS function. So let's walk you through that and show you. This is button one. This is our low setting. We're going to use button two to change those settings. So low, medium, high, turbo, back to low. In the event we want to turn the light off, we would simply click button one again. If we turn button one back on, you'll notice that it's back on low mode. If we wanted to go ahead and activate strobe, we would click it twice. We would click it again to turn it off. When we click it back on, you'll notice that it's on low. If we hold it on low for just a moment, you'll see that it is on now SOS mode. Again, if we click it once, it will turn off. It will not remember SOS or strobe for the memory function, but in the event that we leave it on and turn it on to turbo and turn it off, when we turn the light back on, it will remember those functions. To go ahead and operate mode two, or the second side, which is our diffused light, we're going to activate button two. We're gonna turn that on. To change color modes, press button number one consecutive presses with the cycle to color these modes. So now, white light, red light, IR light. Now you can see the IR light is on, it is off. It is a faint light, but for night vision, or anything where you're running night vision through, it will very, very much so offer a diffuse light output and help you or aid you in illuminating that room. So you have that mode, click it again. You have white light mode, click it again. You have red light mode. Now, for the purposes of this video, some people are gonna ask, why do you have a diffuse light and why do you have a focus light? You might not want to light up the entire neighborhood when you use this light. For those purposes, you would have it on the diffused light, and it's a softer, whiter light that's going to just illuminate the area intended for use. You're not going to accidentally blow out that area. However, if you have it on the, ref the focus light here, you'll see that it's extremely, extremely bright and reflective. So that option might be a good option. Keep one on one, keep one on the other. That's how I personally like to run mine. Mode two, or diffused light, operates the same way in regards to SOS and strobe function. So if you turn the light on and hold it at any duration of time past 0.8 seconds, you will activate SOS mode. You simply click it again to turn it off. Just like mode one, it does not remember or have memory for SOS or strobe output. It will go back to your last light color setting. Let's say that you change it over to red and you want to run an actual strobe light. You will do a fast double click and it will run strobe on that red LED for the diffused light. This is something very, very special. Let's say you want to run your IR illumination. A fast double click and you now have strobe IR illumination. Same features apply. Single click to turn it off. In the event you turn it back on and you hold it down for any duration of time past 0.8 seconds, it turns on to SOS mode in IR illumination. This is something that can be exploited or used in the event that you're with a team and you leave this out in the woods facing up, somebody running a helicopter with night vision or somebody running night vision goggles. You can leave this if you're in trouble and just simply put out an SOS beacon somewhere near the area where you are. A very, very cool feature. This is made with warriors in mind. The one thing that you cannot do through the camera is feel the quality of the HL10 Explorer. Now this light may not have all of the visual bells and whistles, it might not have the fancy designs, but it was meant and designed to be bomb proof. This light is meant to get the good guys home, to catch the bad guys, and to help warriors around the world do the work that they do. There is not another product in the world that offers as many features, an IR, a white diffuse light, a red diffuse light, red strobe, white strobe, IR strobe, IR SOS, red SOS, white SOS, 
2,500 lumens of output on turbo. I mean, it just the possibilities with the PowerTac HL10, they really are endless, and we're excited to see what you use the HL10 for. We want to know your stories. We want to hear what you've used this product for because the PowerTac HL10 is at home on kit, on helmets, in cars, on bikes, on motorcycles. It, it, the possibilities for the HL10 Explorer are endless. But the biggest thing is I can't get you to reach through the camera and feel it. I can't get you to understand without trying or purchasing the HL10 from PowerTac just how high quality the HL10 Explorer is. Guys, I hope today's video on the HL10 Explorer from PowerTac was both helpful and informative. But in the event I missed the mark somewhere, or you just have some other questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We're very proud of the products we manufacture here at PowerTac, and we want them to end up in your hands, especially for when you need them. I'm Rob with PowerTac. Stay safe.